Auburn has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Next kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Take him down immediately. Now he's scrambling. He's to the 40. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. He goes out of bounds at the 48-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he just gets rid of it. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. And he's tackled at the 44. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. Here's an opening. He's at the 30. Tackle around the 20-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Out of bounds at the 16. He has some room. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. They come out in a five wide set. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Gain of two. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Throws to the halfback, touchdown! And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 73-yard drive, and the result, seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Auburn's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brad, his big play ability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big play ability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Second down and 11. Ball on 24. He's into the open field. They give to the tailback. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43. Hey, 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 hey. First down. Hey, hey, Mike 40, Mike 40. Easy, easy, easy John. John. Slam, cheetah, cheetah. slam, slam, slam. Oh, 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 oh
He's at the 40. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's good for a gain of 24 yards. Four down, four down. First down. First down. Hey, Mike 40, Mike 40. Check yeah. kill. Green down. Two seven. Check, 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 check. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of six on the ball. That'll bring up second and three. Check kill. Green down. Play action. Quick throw, incomplete. Wanted his receiver. The pass is incomplete. Number four, the intended receiver. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. Five wide. And he hits him hard at the 21. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. And he stopped behind the line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First and ten. Ball on the eight. Kentucky up seven points. And they make the stop at the ten. That'll make it second and seven. Out in the open. There's a strike complete, and he's level at the 31 yard line. Brought down, nothing doing. No game. That brings up second and nine. Check, check, regular, regular, regular. Fly, 15. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 45. Number 12 makes the tackle at the 45 yard line. That makes it first and 10. the 50. It's second down. Mike five, Mike five. Come on. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. That'll make it 39. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. My five. Kentucky is up a score. Let's go! Quick toss. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen.
And he's got to be happy with that punch, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. And he is drilled at the 19. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Kentucky leads it 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. They'll bring him down around the 24-yard line. Nice pass there, and the quarterback was under a lot of pressure from the defense. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. On the run, right side. Good outside run there. That brings him second and five. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Incomplete. It's knocked down by the defense. It's very disruptive to a quarterback's rhythm to have his passes batted down like that. Nice play by the lineman. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He'll take it from the 18. He makes it to the 28-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Kentucky is up by a touchdown. He's out of bounds right around the 30. Second and eight. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Lucky 95. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Brought down at the 38. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball of the 22. Halfback hauls it in past the marker. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Kentucky is up seven. He steps out around the five yard line. That brings him 
second and goal. just made that one look pretty simple. Well, this quarterback isn't your average player. He runs the option very well and gives this defense fits. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Run left side. Nice run to the left there. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended. And now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. About two minutes before halftime. And this one is a beauty. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Kentucky's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And, Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. That's a great tackle at the 41. They get a good seven yards on that one. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Scrambling around. Gets past the tackler. He gets sacked on the play. That is a loss of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 37. Mike five. Ready. Mike five. Slings it out there incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. That'll make it fourth and six. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle made at the 14. We're about set to start things up again. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. From their own 14-yard line. Second down. And he's going to be sacked. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. He makes his way to about the 18. They just kind of spun their wheels here, but credit to defense with not giving up any ground. Oh, excellent punt. He's at midfield. He's got the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. 
Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. They come out in an empty backfield. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. Quick throw to the tight end. Steps out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks up, and he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He gets rid of this one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. We've played a half. The Wildcats lead 17-0. back to the action here just about set for the second half he just drills this one and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback the Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football Kirk. yeah they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way there's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now they don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game Slings it. Tackle at the 35. That's a game of town. That'll make it second and in inches. He fights forward to about the 36. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. He's at midfield, gains his way to the 46-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it second and two. Yeah, easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. Black five. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll 
get him for a loss. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position of this football game. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. It's on the ground. It's recovered. Kirk, what happened on the option play there? Well, you got to give credit to the defense. They knew what was coming, and they came up and made the play. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, after review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 15. You better be afraid of me. And they make the stop around the 13-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up third and long. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down right around the 24-yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 43-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Down two possessions, this offense has to step up to capitalize on this possession. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. Throws it out right to the running back. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. And he throws it away. Well, the defense did all there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out get the offense back on the field. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He takes it in at the 14. Auburn's been throwing the punches, and they're all landing right now. You're telling me, Brad, just an incredible effort in all three phases, and they're sitting on this comfortable lead with a quarter to go. They're set to go for another round. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Aaron and out long. He got it. And he's taken down around the 32-yard line. out to around the 22. Caught open field. He goes out of bounds around the 19-yard line. Let's 
Has some daylight. Hit out of bounds at about the three yard line. That's a that makes it second and two. Mike five. Mike five. Mike five. Mike five. Six. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog. Shoot. Big dog. Shoot. Touchdown, Wildcats. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 78-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 24-0. And they can forget about returning this one. The Tigers have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Well, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And he is drilled at the 38. And that's the second interception of the game by this defense. These guys are all over the field. It seems like wherever the quarterback throws the ball, there's a defender sitting right there. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38. it to the 21. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. The Wildcats with a 24-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Complete, brought down, up and doing. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 20-yard line. Mike five, Mike five, Mike five. Don't let him Black and five, hot. Black and five. Out of bounds, right around the 18-yard line. That's a gain of two. Set up the screen, but drops. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kentucky's defense has really been impressive, especially these last couple of drives. Well, now you start to think about how this team has played defensively, and what it's done is set up their own offense with really good field position to give them a chance to be able to extend this lead. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Tackle made at the 21-yard line.
from their own 21-yard line. Second down. Just throws this one away. He drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. He really got a hold of that one. And he's taken down at the 49. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Defense coming and the ball comes out. They fall on it. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Mike five, Mike five. Kentucky looking to put this game away if they score here. He's going to try and scramble, and he's sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Ready! Green, 19! Green, 19! Down right around the 40. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it fourth and nine. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Booming kick. He's knocked out of bounds at the 25-yard line. The Tigers thought they had the right game plan and the right player to do it. Neither worked out. Yeah, I think the, the game plan and the star player came into this game with a lot of confidence. What they weren't able to really think about was how good this defense would be that they were facing today. And today, they just got completely shut down. And down he goes around the 28-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment and a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. They'll bring him down at the 34. The Wildcats refused to believe the hype and that they were going to be the team getting blown out. Here they are doing the damage. Well, you and I had talked to some of their players on Friday at the walkthrough. And they kind of had a look in their eye. In fact, even brought up to us. They're tired of hearing about how they don't have much of a chance. They've sure demonstrated their attitude out there today. What a big win and major upset. 
And he tackles him hard at the 36. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Roger, Roger! Check number six. Check Ready! Six. Three, 19! Three, 19! Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 27 to nothing, Wildcats. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.